Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NG. Today we're looking at Forestation. Forestation is a high quality 3D set of scan trees made available by the folks at B Production. Now, if you're looking for high quality photorealistic trees that you would like to use in Blender to create some sort of forest-like scene, then this 35 high quality 3D trees are basically what you're sort of looking for. There is a couple of options that you can do with this and it is just one of those trees that comes with nice set of details from you know micro displacement to final look this has it all so for those who are thinking about checking something like this out i'm gonna put a link in the description that can bring you right here where you can pick it up and start working with it and if you're lucky that the blender market sales is going on within the time you can actually get this for 25 percent off right now the folks at blender market are doing a 25 percent off sale and b production has just opted in so that simply means you'll be saving 25 percent of this tool if you choose to purchase it within the sales time. So with that said, let's dive directly into Blender and take a look at Forestation. So with Blender simply open right here, how you get to work with this is very easy. All you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and install the asset pack once you've downloaded it. And once you do that, next thing to do is tap N on the keyboard, go over to Forestation and you would notice that you have a long list of high quality trees. Now, depending on the kind of tree that you like to work with at a given time, you can simply select that and add this to your scene. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and select anyone. Let's take a look at the chestnut. And just below the thumbnail right here, you would notice that we have different seasons. So we have the summer, the autumn, winter, and spring. So depending on the season that you want within your scene, you can switch this up. So in this case, I'm just gonna select summer, and then I can click on add tree. And that would automatically add the tree to the center of the world, as this is where I've selected the tree to be placed. Now, if you like your trees to be placed where the cursor is, you can do that. So just hold on shift and right click to a point, and you have that right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball that. So let's get that right. Okay, so once we have this here, we could say we would like our tree to be placed right where our cursor is, and we probably don't need like a high poly tree. Maybe we want to work with a low poly one this time. We're also going to select the low poly and click on add tree. Now, once you add this up, you can also do a couple of things with it. First off, you can randomize this, which is basically rotating the tree. All right, you can randomize this as you want, and then you can also play with the wind animation. So in this case, if you like to have like light breeze you need to turn on the animated leaves these would not animate the entire tree it will only animate the leaves and uh, it's one of the things that i'm beginning to notice that vegetation assets are having in blender that sort of brings an extra level of realism to what creators can now do with these assets so in this case if you like to have like light breeze you can throw in a light breeze if you like to have like a medium wind and maybe if you want to have like a strong wind you can also do that all of these things are stuff that you can throw in and get them animating by pressing the playback button and previewing them directly on your viewport. I think it's worth mentioning something. If you're working with a high poly version of the trees, this model is divided into two. The very first one is the stem. And this part is where all of the high crazy details exist. And these other ones are more like filler objects. So they sort of fill up the entire space all the way up. And it's a very honest thing to see that the high resolution scan stuff they exist and these other ones make up for the other part that couldn't be scanned and if you go all the way here and because we're looking at the low resolution version if we turn this on you'll notice that it is just one gigantic piece these two they hold high quality values in terms of textures that you'll be seeing and uh, that also is something that i believe like uh, lots of you guys need to see so let's just simply go in and start rendering this bad boy let's move the light over to this point and then switch this to cycles and of course switch this to gpu and let's fire up this baby so once we switch over to rendering and we get this rendering of course you can tell that the quality right here is extremely high i mean just take a look at this so the quality that you're getting from the stem all the way up very very high so in case you're looking for like extreme close-up this will definitely cut it for you if you're also looking for something that isn't of crazy polygon counts, but at the same time holds high quality details, then you might also see this other one right there. And by all means, if you like to bring in something else, so let's say for example, you would like to bring in another tree that is maybe a winter tree or maybe a spring tree or an autumn tree. Yes, you can. You just need to select that and click on add tree and that tree will be added directly within your scene. 
and of course this is something that you can just hit render and start getting to work and this is not the only tree that you'll be getting like we mentioned earlier there is actually a truckload of other trees that you can pick from so you're looking for summer trees there's a whole lot you can pick from and you can use this to beautify your scene depending on the kind of scene that you're creating so this is more like it for those who are looking for high quality trees that exist for both high poly and low poly then you might want to consider checking out forestation forestation offers a couple of things that you would definitely want to see now the stems are not the only thing that has photogrammetry the leaves also have some very crazy details attached to it and you can come through read up on these things and then make yourself a decision and if you like to save up on getting this asset add-on right now, then you might want to get this within the spring sale. So the spring sale is running till the end of April the 18th. And this is a very wonderful opportunity to save up on 25% of this beautiful add-on and get to work with it. So for those who are looking for high resolution trees, or probably you're looking for more vegetation stuff from the folks at B Production, then you can also check out their gardener, grass blade, and also vegetation. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.